Hey, it's Ellie. Welcome back to another episode of the Long Dark Story Mode. So in the last episode, we were given the task to repair Jeremiah's coat. We have to go to the lookout tower for some reason. Apparently, oh, he left some skins drying. Did I ever say that in the cinematic? Anyway, we gotta go get some of those uh, skins and repair his bear coat which is in my inventory right here at a whole five kilograms. And then, oh, we've got the other, the rifle that we have now at four. So it's just, uh, I'm very heavy. I dropped a bunch of stuff though. Food here, a bunch of food, and then a ton of other stuff that I didn't really feel like I needed when I was going out. Before we go, let me check the map and see where this is. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and walk there. I don't know what the weather is like, but luckily I shouldn't get lost in Mystery Lake, no matter what the weather is like. But it's good. It's very good weather. So yeah, I have loaded my rifle, but I am gonna keep to the flare gun for the time being. I'm thinking I'll probably only use the rifle on the bear, or when I uh, am out of flare shells. Potentially. I'm not sure. I get, it really depends on the situation. If they're just running at me, uh, I'm going to use my flare, almost certainly. <laughs> but other than that, I may use my gun if I have a chance to kind of get them before before they see me, that kind of thing. I kind of hear something, maybe not, maybe it's just me. I guess so. <laughs> I'm very loud and clanky. I really would rather just go along the back side of this, but I'm worried about the bear right there. Sounds like there's a lot of weird, like, creaking or something somewhere. I don't really know. It's like, it kind of sounds like a building, but I don't think it's the building. I think it's me. <laughs> I think I'm creaking. <laughs> anyway. This might be a little bit of a long walk. A little bit of an uneventful walk, so I may cut it out. Well, I'm on the railroad now, so we're going along. It's super windy. The wind is so loud right now. You probably won't know because I'll cut it. I'll cut the sound way down in my video, so it's not like overpowering. But yeah, I can't hear anything, so I hope there are no wolves or anything sneaking up on me because they will be on me before I even know what's happening. I left my hatchet back at the... at Jeremiah's house, but I just realized maybe I should have kept it, because I actually like the hatchet better for fighting wolves. I, like, keep clicking the knife instinctually, but I actually prefer the hatchet. I think it gets them off you quicker, if I remember that right. Um, but the knife has a more chance for a kill. I think that's how it goes. Is that something up there? Or is that just a rock? I hope that's not a bear. It looks a little too black to be a bear. I don't think it is. I'm just gonna be paranoid though because I <laughs> can't hear anything around me. It could sneak up on me at any minute. Yeah, that's definitely not a... Uh... Yeah, definitely not a bear. Oh, we're pretty cold. Yikes. I do have some things to start a fire, but actually not that many. Because I'm trying to travel light and I just like, I have my knife and these heavy things that I needed to, to keep on me. Jeremiah's things and his gun, or my gun I should say. Man, there's some, like, weird wind sounds that I do not like. 
I feel like they updated those sounds of the wind, potentially. Because I don't remember it quite sounding so whistly before. Oh, it, there's a lookout. Is that... Yeah, that's the same one, right? I can just see it really clearly from here. I don't know if I ever noticed how clearly you could see it. How is Matt looking? Are the forest talkers over there, I wonder? Because Jeremiah said somebody was banging their gun around. Let's see, should I go this way? And try to get up through? I'm not sure. I feel like either way now I'm going to be going off the main road to get over there. And going around this way is a lot of backtracking, but I just know the way so much better that I know I won't get lost. With this, I'm just not sure. Well, I guess I'll give it a try. As long as there's not like a bear or something over here. <laughs> Man, the wind is really slowing me down with walking. Oh, it's so slow. <laughs> I feel like this is where the old bear is going to be, though. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like this is where it would be. Or at least on the other side of this thing. I'm going to try to go up here. I'm not sure if I can actually get up through here. I feel like I did once before. So I'll give it a try again. <laughs> but I might have to walk around. That's fine too if I have to do that. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty cold. Hopefully we can get into the lookout tower without too much trouble here. I hear the creaking of that. But I, I don't think there's any other sounds, at least for now. Alright, can I get up this really steep hill? I hope so. It's getting pretty steep now. Let's go through this way. Man, this would be a pretty hard climb. He would probably be exhausted after this. You know what I mean? I would be, I would like die at the top of this hill. Okay, please no surprise wolves through here. Alright. Alright, we're kind of nearby. Let's see if we can just sneak around here, I think, and get to the entrance. It should be just around, I think. Here? Wait, is this the entrance? I'm confused. Where did I come into? <laughs> I thought I saw the rail there. Maybe we gotta go up the hill once more again. Oh yeah, here we are. Uh, wait. Wait a second. <laughs> I think it should be... Maybe I was up too high. Still. Alright, let's go back down. We need to go to the clearing. I hope that's not it. And they just like... Uh, put some trailers there already. But... Okay, it looks like actually... Alright, we'll try to go around this way. I think this might be... There's a clearing up ahead. I think I got lost. I knew this was gonna happen if I tried to go a different way. This is not the right way. I think I was right the first time about going over here. I think I need to keep going. Oh, crap. I sprained my ankle. Alright, let's take some painkillers. All good? Okay, let's see. How the heck do we 
get up here. All right, it's down here is the entrance. I knew I was kind of right. I didn't know where I was going though. I, I'm bad at navigating. I don't know why. I'm just really awful at it. So yeah, uh, there's a bunch of wolves through here. But as long as there's not a bear, I should be able to sneak through. Hopefully there's none over here either. Oh. Okay. Uh, all these stumps like freak me out a lot because I feel like, oh man. A bear. <laughs> hmm. I hope I can get through here. At least one flare will scare them all. I'm gonna try to run. <laughs> I don't like this. I just gotta get up here. That's all. There. Am I good? Okay, none of the wolves saw me. I think I'm about to start dying though from the cold. I mean, not fully dying, but losing my health. I mean, yeah. We should be fine though, because we can get in the lookout tower and we can get the skins for Jeremiah. We're nearly there. Oh, this is such a long walk up. <laughs> but we are there, finally. At the top. And, oh, there's no shelter at all. Damn. I'm freezing. Okay. So, where are the skins? <laughs> oh, I see. The skins are here, probably. Alright, let's check it out. Mountaineering rope? Uh, nope. Okay, that's not it. But I'm confused. So cold in my life. Work pants. They're gonna be really heavy though. Uh, Alright, I guess I'll check it out. We are at the right place, right? I think so. <laughs> um... Hmm. Where are the skins? Wait a minute. There's two now? There were always two lookout towers, were there? Because that must be the one. Oh, good goodness gracious. That was probably Wait. the one I saw before. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. Alright, well, I guess we better build on ourselves a fire and. Get to the other one. For goodness sake. I thought it was the one that was already here that I knew about, but no, it was not. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. I um, lit a fire and I waited for an hour and we are ready to go now. Except I'm hungry. Where's the rest of my f Oh, oh. This is my- This is my drinking cat tab. <laughs> Uh, okay. I was gonna say, I didn't leave all my food back at the house. <sighs> Alright. So how the heck do we get over to this tower now? What? <laughs> Where is the way? Let's see. Looks like we can kind of just go up through there. So we just gotta get down and go that way. Oh, after all this. And I'm just it's not even here. Oh, okay. Oh, here's all the wolves now. How am I going to get through here? Where are they all hiding? <laughs> There's two of them. All right, that one is turning away. Oh, there's another one right there, though. I'm gonna go through this way. Kind of just up this mat. I think it's this way, the other tower? Or it's on the other side. Like, kind of that way. I'm not sure. I can't. I can't remember now. I can't. I don't know where it is. I, like, 
went in the circles down down from the tower and now I'm confused. Uh, yeah, I'm like I said, I I'm bad at navigating. So I think maybe it's just over here though. It didn't seem like a too far of a walk, like not terrible. Further than this side think, but I don't know if I can get up here. Probably not. Alright, gotta be careful. I don't want to break my ankle again. Ugh, okay. So, <laughs> I hope I'm going the right way. Alright, well I think I found it. And I didn't find the way up. <laughs> So I'm very carefully trying. Crap! Dang it! I knew that was gonna happen. Damn, that smarts. All right, let's see. It's gotta be just over here somewhere. The entrance for it, anyway. And I saw some crows flying away, so I hope there's not a bear around here. There probably is. He's probably waiting for me because they know what I'm doing. So they're gonna spawn him right on me. You know? I think I can get up here. Come on. Aha! Yes! I made it! <laughs> I made it around this bend. Alright, let's take some painkillers now. Again. There we go. Double painkillers for double injury. That is definitely how it works. Alright, we're on the right watchtower this time. Lookout tower. That one is ruined. Maybe that one's called the radio tower anyway, but I assumed that was the one I was talking about. So yeah. Now we got this new one over here. Oh, this bridge. Holy crap. I would not want to walk on that. This one is all fancy and intact. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Must be skins up there. That's good. There's the uh, camp office right there. Alright, let's go up and get some skins. Up and up and up. <laughs> Around. Okay. Where are these skins? Here. There it is. Use this. Yep. It's not for you. It's for Jeremiah. Rude. Right. Well, uh, I think we'll just go because whoop, I always forget the door opens on that side and I always get slammed by it and stuck over there. Yeah, I, I think we should just go because... It's almost night time, and I don't really want to stay another night. I would rather get one more thing done in this episode, since they're kind of like short little mini quests, almost. Uh. Oh wait, I have to repair the coat. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I never actually repaired the coat yet. I was thinking we just had to go get the cloth, but no, we're supposed to be learning how to repair it. All right, let me get back in the shelter so I don't freeze while I'm out here. Maybe we'll have to spend the night after all. I don't know how long this is going to take. I suppose we could repair it at Jeremiah's house. But I would rather do it here because what if we need to do something else? You know? All right. Repair. <laughs> Yep, it's gonna go into the night. <laughs> well, I brought my weight down a little bit, I think. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, everything is kind of green now. Comes in this place. I. Uh, so now we can just return to Jeremiah. Yep. I kind of wish I just repaired it at Jeremiah's house now. I knew that was going to happen. Anyway. Well. Can we make it? <laughs> it's not that far. I'm going to try. We're going to go. Oh god, it's foggy. It's so foggy. Okay. Wait. It's fine. We're just going to go. We're going to get back to Jeremiah's house. The thing I like about Mystery Lake is that the map is really small, so you can pretty much go from one end to the other without too much of a fuss. Um, I'm just checking if there's anything over here around the outside of this place, but no, I don't think so. Alright, off we go. I hope we can manage to get out on the right side of this thing. Because we... We did not come into the right uh, entrance. And, oh, yikes. I didn't realize I was kind of going up the hill here. Are these my footprints? Probably. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping it will be a little closer to, like, the ground and maybe the railroad tracks. Potentially. What is this? Oh, that's just a rock? Wow. It looks weird. Where are we? <laughs> Where are the railroad tracks? Um, I want to say they're probably this way. Oh, yep, here they are. Alright, I just gotta get right down here. Uh, can we go this way? It looks a little steep. Wait. <laughs> Hold on here. <laughs> I don't I think I might have got myself into a jam right here. Let me try to get down safely. Ah, oh, here is a way. Wait, what is that? It's just a rock. I'm nervous about wolves because they, you know, hang out here and stuff. So yeah, uh, it's this way, right? Pretty sure. I think the camp office is just up ahead. Before, when we walked on the tracks, it was really windy, and now it's really foggy, so... I've got, like, one disadvantage each time. Which is great. <laughs> I would prefer the fog, though, to be honest. I can see well enough ahead when this fog anyway right now but the wind whoops I right clicked uh, the wind is just it just makes everything sound so loud and you can't really you can barely hear yourself walking so how could you hear somebody else or something else bear or wolf or even the crows that alert you you can't hear them so yeah this fog is just fine with me. I've yet to go in the camp office. I'm kind of waiting. Until... Oh, now it's getting a little foggier. I'm waiting until uh, it actually tells me to go there. Because I feel like it's such a main location. Something's got to be in there that it wants me to get. Oh, I can't see any wolves now. Mm. I can still hear them though, at least. I don't think I have to send the flare directly in their direction for it to work. I don't know about the bear, though. I don't know about him. At least we can definitely find our way to the Trapper's Cabin, Jeremiah's house. It's so easy. Alright, well we made it here now. To this tunnel. So now, we'll just follow the side of the cliff until we get to the cabin. It's really crazy foggy and it's about to get dark. Completely dark. <laughs> We've got maybe an hour or so left. I don't even think that. So, yeah, but we'll make it. It will be alright. Everything else is fine and it's not even cold at all, apparently. So, 
Yeah. Gotta be more careful. What? How did I just randomly sprain my wrist? I wasn't even doing anything. I wasn't even walking on like a steep thing. Is it just because I have my weapon out all the time? That could be. I never really considered that, but I bet that's the reason. Anyway. I'm fine. I have plenty of painkillers. I would rather be ready with my weapon than, you know, worry about getting in wolf fights all the time. Because then I would use a lot more painkillers than the random sprained ankles that you get. Or sprained wrists, I mean. Hope those crows are just circling that one thing nearby. See, there is that thing. I hope it's just that. We're pretty close now, I think. Should be just like over one more hill. And then we'll be there. So, yeah. I haven't seen the bear at all on this map though. I only saw it in Forlorn Muskig and the other map. Did it? Did that even have a name, that map? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know if it ever said. I guess I'll look it up, but yeah, uh, that's the only place I saw a bear so far, even though supposedly the bear here is like hunting us. I'm sure he's around, but I just haven't seen him yet. Hmm. The guy went too soon? It's not around here, is it? You could eat anything. Hmm. Yeah, I think I uh, went around the bend here. I think it's just up ahead now. Maybe. <laughs> I better not have gotten lost. Come on. It's right here. It's so close. Oh, it's here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it kind of came up out, out of nowhere. <laughs> I was at the right place. I didn't take a wrong turn. It was just really foggy and I couldn't quite see. I bet I walked near a wolf. They're all uh, yelling over there. And I also got to eat something. It wasn't a wolf coming at me, was it? I think it was just uh, my walking. All right, I'm gonna return this coat now. I'm gonna eat something first though. I'll just eat this MRE, whatever. I probably should have eaten some of the food on the ground because it's all the like lower quality food, but you know, whatever. I've got your coat, good as new. Good enough, anyway. Okay. Now what? Survival lessons. Let's talk about some survival skills. I should have waited until the morning to do this. It's so dark. I hope you guys can see it. Uh, what do you want to tackle? Well, we already did clothing, didn't we? Do we have to do all of these? Alright, let's go with harvestable plants. Seems if you have your way, I'll never be a vegetarian out here. I'm sure it's no coincidence that most of the animals out here are made of meat, Mackenzie. Are there- aren't there any plants I can eat? Well yeah, most of the year you can subsist mainly on plants you can harvest. Berries, nuts, mushrooms, but not much grows in winter. There must be something. Definitely. Cattails, they don't taste like much, but they'll keep you from starving. You usually find them near water. Rishi mushrooms, they grow on tree stumps. You can make a tea out of them. A good natural antibiotic. Rose hips, they look like little red berries. You Also good in a kind of tea. Great for treating pain. 
old man's beard moss. You'll see it hanging from trees. You can wrap it in a bandage and use it to prevent bites from getting infected. Learn to identify these because they could save your life, Mackenzie. You ready to give it a shot? Yep, alright, I'm ready. Then go to it, oh mighty killer of fuzzy animals. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny. What's our mission? I have some of these already. Can I just pick them up and make them count? Let's see. Oh, I'll never find them in the darkness. Oh my god. They're over here anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how am I ever gonna... Oh, here. Alright, let's see if that counted. No, I have to harvest it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, okay. I kind of lost my way there. I left my sleeping bag here. Didn't I? Where is it? Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't leave my sleeping bag after all. But I'm gonna sleep through the rest of this night and then we're gonna harvest some things after this. Okay. Well, let's go. This one should be pretty easy. You don't have to walk crazy far for any of these. I mean... Yeah. Scrub bush. Oh, I didn't know you could break those down. Oh. I didn't even know that. That would have been a useful tip to learn. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Right. So. I've got to find some rose hip. Some cattails. Pretty much all the things. I saw... I think there's some... Old man's beard moss over here in some of these uh, trees. I'm gonna get out my weapon just in case. I made it all the way to the railroad and I didn't find any trees with it on there. But I'm pretty sure there's some up ahead. Plus we gotta go to the lake anyway so I'm just gonna keep walking. I'm sure we'll find some. I'm sure we'll find all the things. I'm looking out for the other things as well. I swear there was some on some of these trees here. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but I was pretty sure. <laughs> now there's just none anywhere. Hmm. Well. Well. <laughs> Alright. We'll find some, but we're gonna go over here first. And check out, um, check out these cattails. Harvest a few of those. Oh, here's some rose hip. How many did we get? Eight? I think that's uh, how many we needed. like somebody is banging around in there or something. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Here's one. What did we need of this? Oh, what happened? Oh, place it in the container at Jeremiah's. Okay. Maybe those other ones did count then. Darn it. They probably would have. I misread that completely. Uh, Alright, how many do we have now? We have one of this. Okay, eight of that. Where are the other things? Is it listed in food? Two of those. Alright, we gotta grab a few more. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Any more harvestable ones? Here we go. Okay. That should be good. Now we need the mushrooms, which I'm pretty sure I 
have some of, but I don't remember how many, so yeah, I guess we better harvest some. We'll harvest all of them while we're out, because yeah, that seems like the best option, just if that, so then we don't have to go back out again. We'll just do it all in one. And we need moss still, which I thought was over here, but it's not, so... I don't know where we're gonna find it. It's gotta be just up ahead somewhere. One of these trees has to have some. <laughs> just has to. Ooh, here's some. Straight ahead. Yeah, I thought maybe we could try it off the road and that would help. Ah, uh, yeah. There's some over here. I'm gonna go for these ones because there's uh, enough here. And then, we just need those mushrooms and that's it. So we gotta look for a stump somewhere. Try to get them. I think those are the hardest to find, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe I just don't notice them anymore. That could be too. I feel like the bear might be behind me. He's, uh supposed to be off the path and I am now off the path so I wouldn't be surprised if he is now coming for me but I really just gotta find this stuff and that's all oh I think I missed them they're right there there's some right there yes then we can go back I need to find my way back <laughs> I um yeah I'm I know where I am but I'm a little fuzzy on where that is in relation to the trapper's cabin. Hmm, I just noticed I actually need eight of that moss, not four. So I gotta find four more of that and, um, and then three more of the mushrooms? I think, I think I had five. I just looked in my inventory and I forgot already. But yeah, I think maybe we can find them down here. Seems kind of likely. I'm just worried about running into the bear because I feel like he's, he's got to be close to here. I probably just should have come here for everything, shouldn't I? so much closer to the cabin and there's a river here or a lake thing but there's cattails yeah oh well too late <laughs> we'll just um have to find our mushrooms and go please tell me there are some somewhere oh yep here's some that should be everything. So, I think we have to go just over here. And we're at the cabin. I hope I'm right. Because if not, I don't really know where I am anymore. I got a little lost, but I'm pretty sure this is the way. I'm like, pretty sure. Oh, a wolf! Why is he running away, though? I'm confused. Is the bear over here? Oh god. Don't tell me the bear is over here. I hope I'm even going the right way. Because I actually have no idea. I'm pretty sure I want to be... here. Yes! Okay, this is the right way! Ooh, made it. That wolf ran away from me. I have no idea why. That's pretty weird. Oh, is there some moss seriously just there? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> they didn't even, uh, 
They didn't even put that far. Anyway, whatever. Let's put these things in our little supply crate out here. All right, we did it. We are done. We don't even need to talk to Jeremiah and do it again. Or, well, I mean, we have to, but not right now. We, we, we finished it. So, that's going to end the episode for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel because I post the Long Dark videos every Monday. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye!